Penguins and pelicans, a popular exhibit at the Maryland Zoo, now has some new residents. Mike Shue reports the pinked back pelicans are already very popular. So far, the 70 penguins here have had run of the manor. In fact, they seem to know that their new multi-million dollar home is called Penguin Coast. That may explain this reaction when some new neighbors showed up. Not just any neighbors, but bigger, slow-moving neighbors. Neighbors who somehow managed to get fed first. They just look funny. They, they, they do. They look funny and awkward, and they are. Um, they are not the most graceful animals. And perhaps it is because they are so odd that they're adorable and captivating. Don't take my word for it. Let's talk to an expert. Yeah, that's, that's weird how they split the rock with their mouth. Adrian Brattle, at six, is already a keen observer of pelicans. And they pick the rocks with their beaks. They flop their feathers and they pick the rocks with their beaks like every few seconds. So there you have it. Three pink backed pelicans from Africa. One boy and two girls, Plato, Penelope, and Pandora, have a new home. And they're drawing a crowd. And I wonder if the penguins are in any way jealous of all the attention the new neighbors with their pretty pink feet, the pelicans, are getting. They may be content after all because they outnumber them 20 to 1. And remember, this place is still called Penguin Coast. So they have three now. They like to get the six so they can start a breeding program. How much you WJZ Eyewitness News at the zoo? Back to you on TV Hill. Nice day to be at the zoo. Those pelicans have been raised in captivity since they were born. They came from a Disney park in Florida and are six and seven months old. They won't fully mature for about another two and a half years. You know what, pelicans, don't worry. The novelty will wear off. Yeah. Penguins, <laughs> yes. Right? And people will start paying attention to you again. All right, coming up.